I don't see any fish here. Good morning everyone and welcome back to the channel. It's a new year, 2023 is here and I had an amazing Christmas. We had family over. <laughs> Today, I'm going to tell you about one. Now, I've been wanting a kayak or a canoe for quite some time. We love to go on float trips, plus we have a lake that's not far from our house. The issue is space. We have a two-car garage and we like to park both of our cars in the garage. And I really don't want to stick more stuff out into our sunroom out there. So I went for an inflatable. Now, I've been asking Jenny about this for a long time and she's always telling me no. So this year I wised up. I put it on my Christmas wish list. How can you say no to that? You get one kayak, one pump to inflate it, and two paddles. In the box, there's one boat set that can be configured to one or two riders. The dimensions are 10 foot 3 inches by 3 feet, and the maximum weight capacity is 400 pounds. And the kayak says it's certified. I don't know what that means. It was manufactured by Intex, founded in 1966, and operating out of Long Beach, California. They make air mattresses, pools, boats, hot tubs, air pumps, etc. So with any boat, always be safe. Always wear a life jacket and never, ever leave your children unattended around water. So the goal of the video today is to do a full setup on the kayak and see how long it takes us. I won't bore you with the details, we're going to speed that process up a little bit and when we're finished I'm going to give you my thoughts on the durability of the kayak, how easy it is to set up and whether or not I think it's a good buy. <laughs> So that took me exactly 18 minutes and was really straightforward. I think pretty much anybody could do it. The kayak weighs 30 pounds, so it's super portable, fit in the back of pretty much any car. Um, I do have a couple thoughts about the, the boat itself, and I'm gonna point those out to you here in a moment. Um, durable, the, the material feels nice and thick. The, uh, the seats are uh, very comfortable. There seems to be a, plenty of leg room in the boat. And as I mentioned before, you can configure it for two people, or you can take one of the seats out, move one further back, and configure it for one person, which I think I'll be using it for quite a bit on the weekends. These are my thoughts on the boat. I'm gonna point out a couple of things that I don't like. So if you look at the front of the boat here, this piece here just has kind of a wrinkled, uh, not a very attractive look to it. Um, the handles here, functionally, you can use this to 
pick up the boat and pull it forward. And kind of the same goes with the back of the boat here. The, uh, the material, um, I would prefer this to look nice and stretched and tight, but it's not. It's got kind of a wrinkled look. Now, to be fair, I haven't played with this too much yet, so it could be I can tighten that rope up and give that a better appearance. But aside from that, I'm pretty happy overall with how the kayak has turned out. And I'm really excited for a little bit nicer weather so I can take this thing over to the lake, jump in and uh, test it out, see how well it paddles. I'll do another review for you at that time uh, to tell you how it functions in the water. But in the meantime, we're going to enjoy the boat in my living room. I appreciate everybody watching today. And uh, by the way, if you're interested in this uh, this beautiful mug that I'm having my coffee out of today, make sure you like and subscribe because this is another really interesting gift that I got for Christmas this year. And I'm gonna do a whole video segment on it coming up. Thanks, here's a 2023. Have a wonderful year and thanks for watching.